In this course, we will learn how to use the new brainstorming feature in Mind Genius version 4, including how to start a brainstorming session, how to use question sets to prompt ideas, how to maximize the space available to record our ideas, how to create a question centric map, how to categorize our ideas, and how to create a category centric map. Brainstorming is an activity that lets individuals or teams generate a large number of ideas for a project or presentation, or to rapidly find a solution to a problem. To start a new brainstorming session, we will click the New Brainstorm icon under the Home ribbon. We must enter a name for the session and click OK. We will use a question set to present us with a list of questions we can use to facilitate the session. This will help prompt ideas for participants. Mind Genius comes with plenty of question sets that cater for many different types of projects. You can also create your own set of questions by clicking Add Edit Question Sets. We will use one we made earlier called Competition. This question set lets us gather ideas about how we can organise a competition, with questions that help us think about our target audience and what prizes we will offer. We'll start by selecting the first question in the list. To record ideas against the question, simply type them into the text box shown and hit Enter on the keyboard. We can maximise space on the screen by clicking Hide Panel. Right-clicking beside the Brainstorm ribbon and selecting Minimise the ribbon. When we've finished adding ideas for the first question, we can move on to the next one. If we're using the minimised interface, we can move through the questions by clicking the arrow buttons. We will continue brainstorming until we have answered all the questions. We can return to the normal view again by right-clicking beside Brainstorm and deselecting Minimize the Ribbon and then re-clicking Hide Panel. We can see all our ideas have been added in one big group. However, we can choose to only view ideas related to our selected question by ticking the Filter Ideas box. If you have gathered a lot of ideas, you might also find it useful to apply a filter or to sort them. Now that we have gathered all our ideas, we would like to convert them all into a Mind Genius map. To create a map based on all the questions asked, we will click Create Map from Brainstorm. Then select Create Question Centric Map. We will click OK to accept all the standard options. All our questions and corresponding ideas will be displayed in a new map. We will save and close our question-centric map and return to our brainstorming view. It can also be useful to categorise our ideas before we convert them into a map. We can demonstrate this by selecting the question, What is the prize? and using the Category dropper to assign a high, medium or low category to each idea, based on the cost of the prize. Now, when we click Create Map from Brainstorm, we will choose the Category-Centric option. 
This time, we want to create a map showing only the categorised ideas we can see on the screen, so we'll make sure the Current View option is selected, and then click OK. We will then be shown a map displaying all of our prize ideas, sorted by cost. In this course, we have learned how to start a brainstorming session, how to use question sets to prompt ideas, how to maximise the space available to record our ideas, how to create a question-centric map, how to categorise our ideas, and how to create a category-centric map.